Well, I was a Wells House girl. I lived in Wells House in 1954 to 55. And uh, we, there were 18 girls of us there. And uh, we had a house mother. And it was a wonderful place to, to be going to school in. And uh, actually, when we were here, the hub of the college was there in Wells House. They had uh, uh, the cafeteria there and the registrar's office there and the bookstore there. And, uh, and the Dean of Women was in the tower, Mrs. Van Tassel. And uh, so we had a wonderful time living in Wells House. And my experience, uh, first one coming here was, uh, I took accounting classes. In those days, they were bookkeeping classes, not accounting. And I took office machines and so forth. And uh, got to take bonehead uh, math with uh, Mrs. Arlander, and Miss Arlander as a teacher. <laughs> and uh, just uh, knew a lot of the kids already because I lived at Monitor and went to Kaysburg High School and uh, this was just a good close place that we could afford to go to. I chose it for two reasons. One is the cost and it was close to home. I was able to live at home. Uh, quite frankly, I, I went on to school because I wanted to make my mother happy. <laughs> Well, I came here because I uh, wanted, it was close to home too. I grew up on Badger Mountain and went to Wenatchee High School and uh, this was the next step and uh, so then, but I needed to live somewhere so that's why I lived at Wells House. I, I, I took a commercial degree, so. Well, the real story is I noticed uh, Lucy, uh, she would come into class late in our first class of the day she had to travel all the way from Wells House uh, across the little yard to get to the classroom. Uh, of course, uh, it was a smaller school then too, and uh, we would have dances in the social hall, you know, and then after ball games and so forth. And that's how we met. Well, I, I started out in accounting and bookkeeping. I'd taken uh, classes, I'd taken typing classes in high school bookkeeping classes, uh, took typing uh, <clears throat> through there, which helped me learn office machines and so forth, and I took those classes at Wenatchee Junior College. The, uh, I think uh, if I hadn't met Lucy, you know, uh, it's hard telling what I would have done, but I know I would have stayed in the, the Monitor area. My mother was uh, basically alone, she didn't remarry, she had a lifetime teaching certificate, and after my father was killed, she taught at Monitor grade school until 1969, and that uh, she retired then. I was taking care of her orchard and also working at the warehouse. It was a young orchard coming in, and quite frankly, uh, we couldn't afford to hire people to, to help out much, so except with harvest time. So. I, I think I would have. Uh, probably been in orcharding had I not uh, taken those classes. And I didn't apply for the job, I was offered to. <laughs> I always enjoyed what I was doing. Uh, uh, the book you can you're, you're actually tied to your desk a lot more than I like to be. As manager, I was able to roam more. Uh, it's not that I accomplished a lot. We had a lot of good people that, uh, you know, we had packing losses, we had uh, supervisors and, and, and machine operators uh, that kept the fruit cold. Uh, two of those to this day are working there and quite frankly they had classes here in the refrigeration. We have horticulturists that had also taken classes down here so uh, a co-op our size will we'll, uh, receive around three million boxes of fruit this year and quite frankly it isn't a one-person operation. It's a, my policy was always to hire someone that you knew who knew more about the business than you did, and then uh, yeah. <laughs> that, it's been a successful way to do it. So. He enjoys what he's doing, and he's healthy enough to go up there, but uh, his son works there also, and uh, 
for his son to take over. He has to get out of there, I guess. <laughs> so well, I'm sure we'll survive together at home because I figure if you know if you grew up and you met each other and you had something in common that you wanted to have, and uh, so I'm sure we'll do fine together. <laughs> well, I was uh, I took care of the children and he did too, but. You know, together we raised four children and we're very happy that they all stayed around pretty close and uh, so now we have our grandchildren and uh, and they are in and out a lot so uh, it's kind of the hub of the family there at our house so uh, our daughter went here for two years and our one son Dan went here for two years then they went on to Central and finished there for the four years, and uh, and Dave, our youngest son, went here for uh, one year, and then he transferred to um, uh, uh, what was it? Perry Institute. Perry Institute in Yakima, and he uh, works for the PUD now, and so that's what he he's happy in. So, well, without the education, uh, I know I would not have gone on to college. Uh, I was taking care of the orchard that uh, my mother owned. My father had uh, been killed in 1948. My mother had five children to raise. I was 13 at the time. So I didn't intend to go on, but the reason I went to the junior college, it was affordable, plus it made my mother happy. Out of five children, quite frankly, I'm the only one that didn't get a four-year four college degree. Uh, for me, uh, uh, there was two roads. I met Lucy and we got married. And I was already working for uh, Kaysman Fruit Growers Union, which is now Blue Star Growers. That company was formed in 1907, so it's uh, been around a long time. Uh, in Kaysman, I lived uh, two miles east of Kaysman, so it was close to home. I worked uh, half days and Saturdays until I graduated from junior college. And, just, it was a good place to go, and I would not have qualified for the job when they hired me at Blue Star if I hadn't taken classes at Wenatchee Junior College. Well, it not only generates a lot of revenue, payroll and so forth for the, for the area, but it gives people that, uh, with uh, more limited income an opportunity for their education. The night classes, uh, and I took some of those also uh, after we're married, and believe me, it's a lot tougher once you're married to take those classes and then when you're single and can do as you please. Uh, I, I feel that uh, when National Valley College, you're, I, you're probably aware they had a chance at uh, a four-year college and turned it down, so that's where Wazoo well, ended up over in Pullman. And, uh, but the, the junior college, I think, has been good here. And the fact now that you can actually get a four-year degree, I think it makes it even better for those that are committed to really do that. So.